it's the crypto lightsaber back with another video guys today we're going to talk about the drip network because it's been a while since i covered my strategy for the drip network and um, i have a plan to get myself to max payout so i'm going to talk about that today we're also going to talk about the drip garden which i briefly covered a couple of days ago we're going to give you an update on my strategy for that and um, yeah let's just get into it so starting with the drip network so you can see i have 2718 drip 19516 dollars i also have a second account with roughly about four thousand dollars worth of drip uh, in that account right so what i'm actually doing right now is now that i've got to the 2700 mark right that's basically 10x away from a max payout um in terms of deposit value right so what my plan is is to get this to around 10,000 drip so I'll just continue to compound and continue to buy drip. Um, you may have noticed my balance has increased from the previous videos because I have been buying drip on the dips, right? So I've been buying it bit by bit, a couple of thousand here, a couple of thousand now. I think I put, I, I put close to uh, close to three to 5,000 in um, sometime last week, right? And uh, yeah, I've got myself to 2.7 thousand drip. And uh, yeah, if I continue to compound and continue to add in, all I need to do is 2x this to get to uh, my the point where I probably can stop depositing, right? And then I can just focus on compounding my way up to max payout. Because I think once this gets to 10,000 drip in deposits, it's going to be pretty easy. Uh, I'll be able to compound up to a max payout within a couple of months. And then I'll be able to go from there, right? And then from this account, what I can do is like just stack up some drip, send some to another account. And then build up my second account similar to what i've been doing with splassive if you guys know my strategy on there um i have hit a max payout over there and then what i'm doing is i'm stacking up some splassive to airdrop to a second wallet so that i can begin to compound that second wallet and just create multiple accounts all right guys so that is my strategy with drip network okay guys you can see right now i've claimed 2.5 k drip um, I'm net positive still, okay, 2.7, and uh, my max payout is 9.9 thousand. Um, no referrals on this one, all right, guys. So this is just purely me putting money in. I've got 2.297 drip in referrals, okay, guys. Despite the team haven't been building a team account on this, so it just shows you that you can build up a drip account from other streams of income, and um, just continue to compound. Also, continue to make deposits here and there. All right, every time the price dips, you get a much better price. You'll be able to get a lot more drip for, you know, the same price that you would have bought it at a higher price, right? Um, at a higher amount, sorry. And, um, yeah, right now, drip is back down again to $7.15. Um, there was a big sell-off the other day, 120 k or something like that. Someone said a, a drip, but I don't pay any attention to that. When I came onto the chart, it was still around $7. So I'm not watching anything like that. I believe that the price of drip is going to go up. Otherwise, I won't continue to buy it, right? But even if the price of drip does come down, it does seem pretty stable around this area. And um, even even if it comes down, you're still getting 365%. So, you know, there's huge, you know, reward. You know, the, the risk is huge at the end of the day because it is like high risk, you know. Um, oh, another thing is it has been removed from the high risk. Um, let's just go to Forex Sharks recent announcement, right? Um, I think we better highlight this right so we have successfully got that radar to remove drip from the high risk after they graciously took the time to look at our system in depth now drip is even featured on their home page where it belongs the truth will always prevail uh, if you are willing and stand uh, willing to stand strong sorry right guys so drip network if you know what was going on it was kind of flagged as high risk by that radar um uh, binance uh, on coin telegraph they said it was high risk as well but um you know really People are just not taking the correct time or the, or the proper time to kind of look at the project, right? If they did that in the first place, it would have never got onto the high risk in the first place. But, um, you know, what's done is done, but they have taken it down. And uh, that is definitely good news. I look forward to the fact that uh, the Animal Farm is going to be launching soon. Okay, guys. And, um, yeah, the Animal Farm, you know, when people look at that, they're also going to look at Drip Network because that's associated with the Animal Farm. It's the same developer and so on. But, um, yeah, I just think Drip is bullish at the end of the day. Still bullish. I'm still building my position. And uh, I'm not a mega whale or anything like that. But, you know, 
Who knows? Maybe one day, right? If we continue to compound, continue to uh, um, to, to buy the dips, and continue to just have faith in the project um, and the and the potential for price, right? I think we could see um, pretty good things out of Drip Network, and that's just my opinion. Remember, none of this is financial advice. I'm only showing you what I'm doing. All right, guys. We're moving on to the other part of my strategy, right? Is with the Drip BUSD LP tokens in the Drip Garden. All right, guys. So. Um, if you look at my drip garden, I am now almost at 2 million plants. I was just about, I was at about 1,500, sorry, 1 1.5 million, 1, I was at 1 1.5 million plants in the previous video a couple of days ago. I'm now at uh, 1.9 million plants. If we get my uh, drip garden dashboard out on drip.formulate.finance, uh, $5,192 in the drip garden 173 dollars a day that's 18 lp tokens a day uh 63,338 plants on a daily basis so i have been growing this all right guys i'm just able to just compound all right every three to four days maybe just compound all right guys and then that will give me a whole bunch more plants uh, by the next time i compound i want to be up to uh, uh, over 2 million all right guys if i compound right now i uh, would be at 19 uh 19 uh sorry 1.9 um well yeah we'd, we wouldn't be at 2 million yet all right guys so what i'll do is i'll just wait and um, i'll do another compound in a couple of days and that will bring my balance closer to the 2 million once we get to the 2 million we will then have a new target uh, not sure what it will be yet but um ultimately what i do know is uh this balance is growing and I want to grow with the contract. So I am continuing to compound and build the drip garden in anticipation for the relaunch of the animal farm, like I said in, in the previous video, right? I'm going to leave the link in the description so you can get into the animal farm. Because when you're, uh, sorry, not the animal farm, the drip garden. When you get into the drip garden, you're actually getting a very good price at the moment, right? You're getting a lot of plants for a cheaper amount of what it was at the beginning, all right, guys? And so you're, you're going to be able to grow with the contract in the second wave of capital coming into the drip garden all right guys this has gone up from the previous video it was just under uh, 46 uh sorry 460 thousand um so now uh, sorry it was just under 470 something thousand now it's over 484 thousand so approximately another 10 almost 15 thousand uh, uh lp tokens locked in the drip garden paying out three percent a day all right guys and um yeah i mean i'm super bullish about the drip garden um you know if the contract keeps growing right then you know you've got the opportunity to make a lot of money all right guys and uh, the main play of course would be to go into drip if you're not in drip already you get one percent a day and what you can do is funnel some of those funds over to the drip garden come over to the drip liberation contract right and uh, you can actually buy um, LP tokens with BUSD, right? And um, you bypass the taxes for drip. And that will give you LP tokens, which you can then bring over to the drip garden. Deposit it into the contract um, right here. Okay, guys. For example, okay. And then once you do that, you will be in the drip garden earning your 3% a day. And of course, this works like any other miner. All right, guys, you want to be compounding more than you claim. Right now, I'm not claiming anything. I'm just compounding, right? Um, and yeah, that's the way you're going to maximize your your gains in this particular project. And by the time this balance goes up and the animal farm is relaunched and you get a new wave of capital flowing into the whole ecosystem, you'll be able to start claiming a little bit more. Or, you know, if you're like me and you're not claiming at all at the moment, you'll be able to claim, collect some Drip BUSD LP tokens and then bring it over to the farm, Right? And there is a drip BUSD pool right here, which you can then begin to earn some dividends on your drip LP token. So you don't need to sell those. You can just collect them up, bring them over here and earn additional yield on that in dogs. Right. And then uh, once you sorry, in pigs, you will earn pigs. Right. Then you can take your pigs over to the pig pen and you can state them in there and you can just continue to just use the whole ecosystem. However you want to do it. You can just sell them if you want, if you don't want to do that. Right. But everyone's going to have their own strategy. But for right now, Drip Garden is the play. All right, guys. For some, it's the piggy bank. I am in the piggy bank as well. Very light. All right, guys. I don't have much in here at all. Um, I have 
you know, about six point, you know, four million piglets. All right, it's not much at all. All right, guys, but I'm really not focused on the piggy bank. I much prefer the drip garden and uh, the way it's built and so on. All right, guys, so um, you might want to come and check this out if you don't know what the drip garden is all about. Okay, guys, um, it's better than any other miner out there. I will say that. It's, in fact, the way it's built, the game theory behind it is pretty bullish, in my opinion, which is why after all the hype has died down, I've been just getting into it while all the hype's gone. Right, and when the hype comes back, um, which it is, you know, I mean, a lot of people are doing that as well. You can tell by the contract growing, right? The, the amount of LP tokens that's coming into this quietly in the background before the farm launches, right? So uh, one correction I need to make is in the last video, I said that the farm was relaunching, the animal farm was relaunching around October the 4th. It's actually October the 18th, All right, guys? So it gives us a lot more time to accumulate more plants, uh, in the drip BUSD garden and therefore accumulate more drip BUSD LP and that way we have more drip BUSD LP to go into the farm and catch those high APRs at the beginning or whatever strategy you want to use right you're going to be able to maximize your potential in this while it while it, while the whole animal farm isn't kind of live yet all right guys so that's just my strategy I uh, just wanted to make a quick update on drip network and this ecosystem um, I'm not heavily involved in the animal farm as a whole i did emergency withdraw uh, because it, it was paused for a long time so a few months ago i emergency withdrew my stable coins from the farms and put those to work elsewhere all right but um yeah we'll see about getting back into it when everything goes live i don't anticipate it being paused again everything should be in full working order and we shouldn't have any more hiccups once this goes live but you never know this is crypto everything's high risk so that being said do your own research don't risk more than what you can afford to lose. Um, I'll leave all the links in the description. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the very next video. Thank you.